If you remember, Taylor was walking around. John was gone. John had left. But she was still walking around carrying that chain. She was still walking around bound. And she didn't know on the other end of that chain was freedom. Yeah. Through forgiveness. Yeah. Through God's love. Through his power. Through the word of God. Yeah. But she had to receive it. And she had to relinquish those chains. Yeah. So now, this is the end. And I know I'm over, y'all. This is the end. So everybody has a letter at their table. This is going to sum up my speech for you all. We start with forgiveness. I talked earlier about the F table. I talked earlier about the faith that we need because we want retribution. We want to see them pay. But you have to have faith that God will fight for you. Yeah. So the F stands for faith. The O stands for overcomer. You have to believe that he's already overcome the world. So this little thing of forgiveness that you have to do, that you have to relinquish to whoever hurt you, he's already overcome the world and he's given you all things pertaining to life and godliness in the overcomer. R stands for repent. When we repent, when we release our sins to God, he is faithful and just to forgive us. So when we repent and say, Lord, I didn't do it right. I didn't know how to do it. I don't know how to forgive. Give me the strength I need to release this to you. Then God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. The G stands for grace. God is giving you grace. His grace is more than sufficient for you. You gotta receive the grace and believe that He can grace you enough to have the power you need to be forgiven in Him. That I stands for intercession. Jesus is our greatest intercessor. He will fight for you. He will come in between that offense. He will come in between that offense and your flesh, and He will give you that power again to overcome. That V stands for victory. You already know the victory in Christ. You've got all things. Nothing will be wasted. Nothing with God will hold, withhold from you because he loves you. So you already have the victory. That E is for an ugly word, empathy. That same grace that God gives you to forgive you for what you did. When I was up there talking about when I had to forgive myself, I gave myself the excuse, the reasons. Why did I do the things I did? Why was I self-destructive? Why was I sabotaging? I was empathetic toward myself. God wants us to give the offender that same empathy. They have a story, too. That is empathy. Your end, it was necessary. Yes. Everything that you have gone through, nothing, no yes. thing will be wasted. Yes. It was necessary for your testimony. Woo. It was necessary because Tell God it. will make all things work all for the good it. of those who love the Lord and call according yes. to purpose. Yes. It was necessary. It was necessary. Now go use it Girl. to help somebody Woo. else. That other E, endurance. God will give you the endurance you need. Letting faith have its perfect work. That's right. Faith worketh patience. Patience is another way of saying endurance. Come on now. Faith. So going back to the beginning, and sometimes we got to go back to the beginning yes, yes. to get to the end. Yes. That endurance, yes. overcoming, you will have to have faith and execute that faith yes. to yes. endure. Come on. Yes. Two S's. Y'all special. Y'all got two letters. Yes. <laughs> Surrender and steadfast. Woo. Being steadfast, yes. always abounding in the work of the Lord. Surrender. It don't belong to you. Whatever they did don't belong to you. It wasn't about destroying you. Yeah. It was about positioning you for a place of yeah. purpose. Because no thing will be wasted. No. And it's not as unto death. And you will use this, and you will step up, and you will help other people yeah. surrender to Jesus. Yes. I know I'm pointing at you. I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Surrender. Give it to him. Wow. It's not yours. Stop yeah. carrying it. Yeah. And stop allowing it to burden your progress and your purpose. Yeah. Surrender. Yeah. And then be steadfast. Yeah. Always abounding. Unmovable in the word of the Lord. Yes. For he loves you. And that is how we forgive. Wow. Y'all get that? Yeah.